Hello everybody, my name is Simulation for the Nation, and today we're going to be looking into just how well the physics have been improved in Farm Sim 22 by having a play around with some forestry, some basic forestry. Admittedly, I am not the best uh, lumberjack by any stretch, nor am I most the most inclined to to learn. But I've been told a lot that the physics have improved and that the handling of logs has much improved. So we're going to test that. We're going to see exactly how well we can get on by building a bridge we have uh, we're using everything timber really today we're using the production pallets uh, as our kind of a little support here in the middle of the river it's a temporary bridge i'll give you that but it will be a bridge that we can cross uh now and we're gonna use it across yes there is a, a bridge over there perfectly good for bridge but there are some deer floating why are you there you go off you pop uh but we want to see how easy we can construct our own little bridge that we can get that wheel loader across with in the end uh you may well be able to see in the fall in the far ground there we've actually already been busy felling some trees now i stopped using the fella buncher thing because i wanted the longest length that we can make with that is eight meters which is here but as you can see that would have to require two spans we've actually gone ahead and left them in one giant big length so let's go have a look and see what we've got and we're going to take ourselves a drive up the hill there with our handy little class uh, Torion, and we're just going to carry those logs down. We're going to try and arrange them onto the onto a bridge structure. Uh, there will be a lot of uh, uh, a lot of usage there of our uh, power tools mod to be able to move those around there using a bit of super strength. However, we will get them into place there, and we'll see if a they will stay without skipping all over the place, and b well if we can actually use it as a viable bridge. So you can see. We have felled many different trees down here. They're all in various different states. This one, for example. We're just going to tidy up here. Uh, take off all these ends that we don't need. Make this tree look a little bit better for itself. Uh, and therefore a little bit more manageable as well. Perfect. And that one. There you go. So yeah, all of these are going to have to be rearranged. As you can see, they're in much longer lengths here. So we should, in theory, be able to span over straight away. Now, in order to keep everything kind of bunched into the position I would like them in, we have a plan for that as well. Let's move this guy out of the way. This thing seems to be a little bit easy to, to handle now. Uh, again, this is me speaking from a position of a, a novice, really, when it comes to all things uh, forestry. But it certainly seems to be a little bit better uh, when you're actually using this in the swing of things uh the one big gripe i had in fs19 about the quality or about forestry was just the complexity of operating one of these tools uh, which you know I, I have no doubt is very much the case in real life but you know it just wasn't for me however let's see and try we've made a little bit of a track down so in theory we should be able to get down without any problem and take you right here sir you are the chosen one and we're going to just try and take our way back down the hill. There you go. It was stuck on its own tree branch. Now these might even be just a little bit long. So this is going to be a fun little challenge. Can't even really grab it to take it down there. So that's a good start. There we go. I've achieved an equilibrium. We're good. Whether or not I can actually get this down the hill remains to be seen i am not against using super strength for any stage of this especially when we're not going to be able to get past a couple of trees here i did not fell enough trees i really want to fell all of the trees but i think ooh, oh that one was already knocked down there brilliant onwards oh uh, no okay so what we'll do I think is a bit of a proof of concept here let's go and see if we can carry this thing down there i want to see if this will a actually be a right length see if it will work and see if we are able to uh keep it in place that's gonna be the key thing here i want to make it wide enough so we can comfortably get uh two vehicles across um but to do that we're gonna have to Ooh, it's all over the place it doesn't like to be picked up there but then i guess isn't abnormally heavy weight now i wonder if we that one was fine like i say this one was eight meters wide we have no way at the moment of of preventing these from moving so what we might have to do is use some placeable 
uh, fences or something just to try and keep a, a bit of an edge on there. Uh, I wonder if we want to cut off the end bit over here. Right. Might be a bit long. Maybe. So. Let me see here. So what I've decided we're going to do. We're going to cut this one to the same length. And we're going to make it a bit easier that way. Uh, let's just see if we can. There you go. Uh, at least we can use that one. And then let's just lift this back over. We also want to just get rid of that there. Big, some massive uh, bits of wood here. Is that nearly... Oh man, that's perfect. Cool. All right, let's see how that goes. So we're going to put this guy back onto here. This is only one tree. We fell down about 12, so that's always handy. Uh, so, and the idea being that we'll be able to rest at half there. We'll put that one onto maybe a little bit further over. So it bridges that gap to there. And then these guys on this side will kind of, will do the same, but going over that way. So in theory, we've got plenty, but... Our biggest trouble will come when we have a bit of a gap in the middle. It doesn't need to be braced up right next to each other. It doesn't need to go too far. So before we go any further, let's leave those ones there. But like I say, we want to make sure that we're not going to be the second that we jump onto there with a, you know, a load or something. It's not going to just send those all flying sideways. So what I want to do is go into decoration here. Let's put a bit of a wall down if we have one. Fencing, fencing, fencing. Don't necessarily have a wall per se. There you go. Because that'll keep that end in there nicely. Awesome, we can put a little light there. That'll work. Perfect. One there as well. Excellent. Alright. We have our parameters now. We can make this work. Let's go back and do a little bit of shuffling. We're going to move this one over a bit more. Not from there, we're not though. Let's go from over here. What I've learned is that this is a lot easier to do with uh, with super strength. That's for sure. Let's get these all butted up the same. Ooh. Okay. Hmm. Now the great thing about power tools is it now has an update where you can actually spawn in a whole load of pallets that you need for productions and things like that. So, as luck would have it, that's exactly what we did. Uh, and so I might even put one more across here, just so it has another little uh, resting point in there if we figure we need it. But I think we're looking good so far. Let's uh, go get some more. hopefully if i can measure what i'll do is i'll fell some more eight meters up here with this little thing uh because that'll be the easiest way yeah let's do it that way and then and guarantee that what we're gonna have here is get on tree hubs to be eight meter length wonderful Again, this is not how you do it, but it's just, it just works for me, really. And then, 
But again, and that's going to put the aim at the lens. We'll carry those down with the thingy me jiggy. And then that will be able to. Uh, we'll be able to put those straight on as well. Maybe two more of these, and then we should. I'm assuming we'll get at least one more lens there. Ah, perfect. That one's probably not too good for anything. However. I'd love to have one go, I go in one of these in real life. I'm going to crush it. I admire anyone in farm sim who can control one of these like it's poetry it's just incredible the motion the fluidity people can get with this it's just epic i'm not one of those people as this is perhaps showing you but that play to anyone who does absolutely incredible i oh, we're gonna get two off of here but that's all right we'll uh just guard you over this side somewhere bit of a short guy all right So now, move this one into a bit of a pile here. That one can come down. They don't seem to get stuck as much as they were, that's for sure. I guess that's brilliant news. Well, I mean, we have some of them, <laughs> I guess. We'll, we'll, we'll make that work. And we'll just uh, quickly drop these off before they fall, and then life will be good. Yeah. I'm fairly sure this is how all of the. Uh... Stop, 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 stop. Fairly sure this is how all the pros do it. Well, dare I say it, folks, we're halfway through. We can we can walk across half a bridge there, which is pretty cool. Uh, we're not going to make it any longer. And also one of my support structures is about to fall over. That, that doesn't bode well. There you go. Fixed it. Perfect. Uh, so that's good. We're going to twist, rustle through, do the same process again. We'll get a few more log support down here. Uh, what we're going to need, uh, probably about seven more. And then we should be good. So uh, let's see how this goes. Well, well, well. A couple of things that we've learned. Uh, yes, it does seem like forestry is improving. No, I have not got any better at forestry. Um, so it's not quite the, the fourth road bridge. Nor is it quite the Golden Gate Bridge. But, I mean, is it the bridge at all? I guess, possibly. We're going to find out. Let's, um, and obviously we're just going to go with a nice light tester first of all. We're just going to jump into this, probably, what, 12 ton uh, class wheel loader. Can't see this going wrong. Uh, yeah, good luck, everybody. Uh, now, I think what we need to do to deem this to be successful is to get from one side across and back. So we need to make this two trips over here. So, yes, um... We break, 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 break. Okay. Okay, let's just take our time to try and get on. First of all, without hopefully shunting those away. What if I do a bit of it? I need like a ramp on the end. Hey. Yes. Don't flip up is the next thing. Don't flip up. Don't flip up. Yes. I mean, it's. How do I say it? It's it's, it's, it's working. <laughs> it 
It's actually legitimately holding my weight. I love that. Oh, across we go. So we're halfway there. Uh-oh. There was move there was movement. Oh, I want to see what's happening if I turn around here. No. Ooh, no. We're, we're looking alright. We're looking alright. Back across we go. Again, just need to make sure that we don't kick them all away. Which we're doing. I need to find a way to make a ramp there somehow. I think that'll be good. But no, we're up. Okay. Gently does it. Gently. Ooh. <laughs> no, 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 no. Oh, don't do it. Okay, we're on the middle point there now. That's good. That's good. We're looking all right. Folks, we... Power. We've done it. Yes. Well, I uh, now announce this bridge open. Uh, no sturdy, sturdy test can be applied to that. I mean, look at it. It works. It's uh, The physics of the logs aren't moving anywhere, so that's good. It seems to be everything staying in some kind of uh, place. Uh, it's not having a big freak out with the pallets either that we use as the structural beams, so that's good. So it we deem that a bit of a success really uh production chains for the win if i could do a few things i would want to find a, pl a placeable object that i could use just to tie in the ends a bit more but yeah otherwise nailed it absolutely nailed it and i think with that we're gonna leave it here and deem this a massive success and we will uh, call it a day so thank you very much for watching folks this has been a bit of fun with me simulation for the nation i do hope you have enjoyed if you like this thing and you want to see more, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel, and we'll see you all in the next one. Until then, do stay safe, enjoy what you're doing as always, and we'll see you later.